Stay tuned, community. We are live in 30 seconds. Good morning, community. Today is February 5th. Happy F5 Day. As Francois Loco Denou recently reminded all of us in our company meeting, today also happens to be World Nutella Day. So enjoy that. That's not why you're here watching. Today also happens to be the date for our latest quarterly security notification. In November of 2021, F5 began to release quarterly security notifications instead of ad hoc CVEs in an effort to simplify our customers' mitigation steps and to minimize response times and outages in the environments that they protect. Today, I am joined by Chris Palmer from the F5 CERT, who is here to share the details. Chris, how are you this morning? Oh, I'm pretty good, thank you, Aubrey. That's great to hear. I, uh, I hope we have a good day today, and um, like I guess let, let's not keep the community waiting. What do you have for us? All right. So uh, this is our February 25, 2025 quarterly security notification, as Aubrey had mentioned. I'm Chris Palmer with the F5 CERT. Okay, so for this QSN, we have 17 vulnerabilities. Um, they were disclosed at 7 a.m. Pacific time this morning. Uh, zero critical severity vulnerabilities, which is a, a good thing. That means it, it shouldn't be too big of a uh, QSN shouldn't generate too much, uh, too many issues. Three external researcher reported vulnerabilities and zero known exploited vulnerabilities. Um, this impacts multiple products, including Big IP TMOS, Big IP Next, Big IP Next CM, Big IP Next SPK and CNF, and also Nginx Open Source and Nginx Plus. Um, as always, we tell when our next QSN is going to be, and that will be May 7th, 2025. As far as the issue breakdowns, um, the severity for CVSS 3.1, uh, zero criticals, as I mentioned, uh, 13 highs, three mediums, one low, and zero exposures. Uh, the majority of the highs are are DOS, which uh, you know if you've followed these for a while, you'll you'll know that a lot of uh, the high vulnerabilities usually end up being DOSs. Um, as far as product breakdown, fourteen of them are Big IP TMOS, one for Next, one for SPK, one for CNF, two for CM, and then we also have one issue that affects both open source Nginx as well as Nginx Plus. Um, as for the plane breakdowns uh, for the types is six of them are on the control plane. That would be the management or GUI interface. Um, and 11 of them affect the data plane or the, the actual traffic. The minimum versions to fix these disclosed issues is listed here. So for Big IP, it'll be 17.121 for uh, or 16.152 or 15.1.10.6. The double asterisk is because uh, we didn't have releases that came out that contained all of the fixes at, um, at the time of the QSN. So we have EHFs that are staged on uh, Maya 5 downloads for, for both those versions that contain all the fixes. And then as for SPK, uh, 1.9.1 or 1.7.7 are the versions. And CNF is 1.4.0. Next Central Manager is 20.3.0. And Big IP Next would be 20.1.0. As for Nginx uh, open source, 1.26.3 or 1.27.4, uh, 
Nginx Plus would be R32P2 or R33P2. And the asterisk on that one is that those were uh, being delivered to the um, download site today. Um, and the reason why we do that is because uh, we don't like to release the open source before we release the CVEs um, because because it's open source. So you can you know look into the code and see what what changes were made and everything. <clears throat> Issue spotlight issues requiring an engineering hotfix. This is uh, the main thing that we want to spotlight this time. Is uh, so 15.1.10.6 uh, has an engineering hotfix that contains nine of the CVEs. And that's just because we didn't come out with a, uh, a release that before, before the QSN that contained all the fixes. Also 15.1 uh, went end of support at the end of 2024. So December 31st, um, we do, uh, we did decide to uh, release a hotfix for it just in case we, we have some customers that are still uh, working to upgrade. As far as uh, 16.1 branch, we have 16.1.5.2 um, engineering hotfix that contains four of the issues. And uh, again, that's just because we didn't come up with a, uh, we didn't have a release that came out early enough to uh, beat the QSN time. Now, does that also include a roll-up of the 15.1 CVEs? Just curious. Uh, for, yeah, so um, we we had a, we did have a release in 16.1 that contained uh, a chunk of the CVEs that 15.1 did not. So, uh, so okay. it will, if you uh, upgrade to that engineering hotfix in 16.1, it will fix all the CVEs. Great. That big IP. And that concludes our presentation. Actually, we, uh, this should be a pretty quiet QSN. We uh, there was no uh, major, you know, critical issues or anything like that in this one. Spectacular. Now that's um, also community. I would remind you that we are here live. So if you do have any questions or comments regarding the QSN, please put them in the chat now. Um, we would love to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, of course, as you said, it, uh, it it looks, Chris, like we've got a pretty light QSN. Is there um, is there are there any kind of overarching messages we can give the community um, to just kind of stay on top of things with this? Uh, the biggest thing would be upgrade. Definitely, uh, you want to stay current on your your patching. Okay. Because uh... now that that's something, of course, that you know is is difficult i think uh, myself having come from a, a, an operations career prior to being at f5 uh, i can definitely attest to that it's hard to get those maintenance windows sometimes uh, yeah. but i will mention of course that this is exactly why we do the quarterly security notification so that you know it's coming so that you can get those maintenance windows planned for next quarter as well so we've got a comment uh, also thank you for revealing this information. Well, thank you so much for tuning <laughs> into the quarterly security notification. Yeah, we really you. appreciate that. Definitely. And uh, like we kind of figured this, uh, this may be a super short one. Uh, there are no questions coming in uh, from the field currently. So um, I guess, you know, I would encourage community members if you do have some questions, but for whatever reason, you could not get them into the chat here or whatnot. You can always come find us on uh, you know, on Dev Central, right? We are we are there. I'm there, and uh, and definitely able along with the rest of the community to help you out uh, if you need anything related to patching with this uh, this notification today. And we got another just another notification. Appreciate your suggestion again. We appreciate you watching. Thank you. So I guess, uh, boy, we're gonna wrap this one up, Chris. You're uh, off the hook. Easy on your first quarterly security <laughs> notification. <laughs> uh, knock on wood, right? The day's not yeah. over. But uh, yeah, if there anything else comes up, of course, the community is here to uh, to help out. 
and uh, and we will even open up a, another live stream if we have to take a massive amount of questions uh, for something. Oh, Sounds I'm good. seeing that someone did ask a question first. Not seeing the question, Harveen, if you could uh, if you could ask <coughs> that question again. I don't think I'm seeing it yet. Okay. Well, with that, I think we're probably going to close it up. So before we shut things down, I would like to remind the community that vulnerability, disclosure, and remediation are key parts of F5's security practices, and they serve as a reflection of our efforts to stay vigilant and focused on constant improvement. Definitely tune in for our next quarterly security notification, which, as Chris said, will be on May 7th. We will have a live stream for you, and uh, we are here for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Chris, for coming. Um, no problem. Thank you. You got it. And thanks always to CERT for doing the great work that you guys do. Have a great day. All right. Thank you.